first of all, before I start, I just wanted to say those interactive male commercials that are on late at night with the gay Austrian dude, funniest shit I've ever seen. Nothing against gays. I love them. It's just funny as hell. You never see the lesbians advertising shit like this. Funny stuff. After about one day of being a corporate ad whore, I can pretty much say that prostitution should pretty much be legalized. There's no difference between what Case and I did for Zoomies and what you could maybe get at some dark corner near Colfax. We went around and asked around for people to hold a poster and act like it was the greatest thing they've ever seen. Compare that to the same line that's, that say Slick Rick would lay on a candy, co candy the call girl. The only difference between what we did and what prostitution entails is the, pro the amount of clothing we had on. Hell, we were trying to sell clothing, basically. We did say we were trying to hype the concert, but hell, what does it all boil down to? The mindless teenage zombies skating their happy asses back to Zoomies. I hate to say it, but I've grown a loathing for Zo the Zoomies Corporation. The employees I've met aren't bad people. It's the bigger picture that upsets me. Actually, when it all comes down, the consumers upset me too. I thought skaters were rebels. I thought being a hardcore, hardcore skater meant not being a conformist sheep and keep your shit on the down low. Rah, you know. What the hell? I guess there's no difference between skaters and NASCAR drivers. <laughs> Tide might as well start putting their logo on Bucky Lassick's concave deck. I may be wrong, but I feel nothing short of right. All I want to say is, the next time some skater punk is talking shit about Walmart and the idiots that walk in there, laugh with me as they walk into Zoomies or Sun, because they're basically doing the same thing. It's not just Zoomies and Sun too. Hot Topic, I believe, is just as guilty. I buy my occasional shirt at Hot Topic, but nothing more. Why? I have no need for the rest of the crap they sell in there. Like the ridiculous pants you can fit an entire gypsy family in and has more chains than Ghost Rider's thong. Emo gear that anyone can make if you just put a razor blade on a keychain. Accessorize. Yes, you know what that means. Buy more meaningless crap to go with your already shitty clothing style. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for dressing how you feel. It's just dressing for dressing yourself to the point of where you are whoring out the maker seller can get ridiculous. I respect people who dress how they feel and make themselves somewhat art. I'm all for that. It's people who feel the need to be fresh and new every day that I despise. Example. I respect the girl who wears a shirt they've had since freshman year. Accessories that are minor and that and that they've had for a while, pants that are moderate, not ridiculously baggy or too tight, and her makeup reminds me of gothic art. I despise the girl who wears a shirt they just bought, especially something minor like a blue tank top or something with a retarded phrase from Napoleon Dynamite or some other shitty movie. Pants that are so tight that you can see the full form of their vagina. Constantly changing hair, accessories that look like anal beats for a clown, and make Makeup that puts and that puts a mime's foundation to shame. People, get real. You aren't the petty whore in the magazine, and you shouldn't aspire to beat them either. Dress what you feel and not what you see. Buy with a modest eye. Overdoing things dramatically makes you lose respect on image alone. Whores, whores all around. That's all I see. Until you prove me wrong, that's all I'll ever see. I'm not shallow. I do judge people on character. Mainly this little rant was aimed at people who let the harlotry in their image sink into the person they are. People who seem to pick people up by the type of eyeliner they're wearing. Maybelline, you'll see my point if you pay attention to the scene girls and skater boys. Water, water everywhere. Let's all drown the sheep. 12, 12 a.m.